When we test you, uh, if you're a right-handed operator, and we, I'm not sure how exactly it's going to be, but we'll probably tell you a certain tooth. Um, and if we ask you to do anything on the lower right buckle, I want you guys to turn around, the right-handed operator, I want you to bring yourself all the way around and go in like this to the lower right buckle. It's very hard for students, that's what I've seen more of the failures is a student uh -huh. trying from the from 12 o'clock position to go in and do the lower right. If you're um, left-handed and we ask you to do something on the lower left, bring yourself around at 3 o'clock and point yourself out, okay? All right, so let's just talk about the piezo and the polishing and then we'll be done. Um, so the piezo, we're going to recommend the, the piezo when there's, uh, you know, heavy calculus that you need to remove. Whenever you use piezo, you have to go back and do your hand instruments, okay? Um, uh, when you would not use the piezo is, is the um, pacemaker, uh, if the patient has a hearing aid, if they're sensitive, if they have implants or much crown and bridge. Very rarely will you find calculus or anything on crown and bridge uh, or, or implants anyway. Uh, pretend like this is your terminal shank. I don't like, there's there's three tips. I don't like the thicker straight one. I think it's too big and bulky. I like the two curved ones. They're kind of thinner. So I'm going to try to figure out which end to use for my upper right. Uh, and usually what I usually do is I usually put the bigger drape on my patient when I'm using the piezo mm -hmm. and I have the patient just kind of hold the slide ejector in their hand and like every two or three teeth I I take my piezo out and let the patient, I tell them to suck on it just like a straw. I'm going to try to figure out which end to use. I hold this like it's a terminal shank. Will it roll nicely in here? Yes. This is the end. your upper left. This is for your upper left. So so this will work for the upper left buckle. It'll work for the upper right lingual. The way you're going to use it is exactly like your scalers. That tip is going to be pointing right towards the tooth that you're working on. It's going to be a very, very fast uh, movement just like you're erasing something off of a of a piece of paper or something. So just very quick. There's no reason to be doing a bunch on the, uh, the buckle. There's nothing there. So it's just mainly, I mainly focus on the um, interproximal. Whatever instrument, whatever tip is good for this side, the other curved tip will be good for that side, all right? Um, so did, let's see, where's Ethan? Did you get a, a